Hey songbirds, welcome back to another episode of Chart Topper. I'm Trishana. Sam Cooke was the man in the 1950s into the mid 1960s. James Brown is considered the godfather of soul, but Sam Cooke is considered the man who invented soul. Sam Cooke was born in the early 1930s in Clarksdale, Mississippi. At the age of 19, he was recruited to sing with the Soul Stirs. With this group, he launched into gospel superstardom. He is the first black American ever considered to do so. Sam Cooke reached gospel superstardom and had nowhere else to go. He literally hit all the pinnacles of success. So he decided to switch over to pop. The first single he released, he released under an alias, but everybody knew who he was. His voice and his sound were so signature and unique. So his second single, he released as himself and it went number one. It stayed number one in not only the top R&B charts, but also the top 40 airplay charts for 23 weeks. He was one of the first artists, black, white, male, or female, to demand full ownership of his career, refusing to play to segregated audiences. And in doing so, he decided to launch not one record company, but two, and a publishing firm. He did so with his colleague, J.W. Alexander, whom the company is also named for, Sam and Alexander Records. Under SARS Records, he produced and released R&B songs. Under Derby Records, he produced and released pop songs. For both outfits, he developed young artists, including Bobby Womack and Johnny Taylor. Sam Cooke passed away at the age of 33. He was the first African American to own a record label company before Motown, before Rock Nation. His song, Wonderful World, in the line, Don't Know Much About History, prompted a book series called Don't Know Much About, which includes 26 or 27 books by author Kenneth C. Davis. Finally, Sam Cooke's posthumous anthem, Change Is Gonna Come. What can be said about the song other than it's still being sung today? You can literally check your Twitter feed, your Instagram feed, your Facebook feed, and you're going to find somebody singing the song. It was the anthem for the civil rights movement. One of the anthems. One can only wonder if it had been released while Sam Cooke was alive, what would have become of not only his career, but the world in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday for another video. Be sure to like and share this video. Comment below and tell me what are your favorite Sam Cooke songs? Did you know that he was such a genius? Also, have you watched the movie One Night in Miami? Check the description box below and I'll link some of the sources that I used for research. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. And until next time, sing your heart out.